I'm tired. <laughs> um, it's day four of the reading rush and I just thought I would give you a quick little reading update. And I think I'm also gonna unhaul some books today. Um, I did a book haul yesterday. I'm gonna unhaul today because I really wanna go book shopping this weekend. So yeah. <laughs> um, I finished The Girl of Fire and Thorns last night. It was awesome. I finished the audiobook. Audiobook narrator was phenomenal. Um, I think this series is gonna be really good. This book was a little bit slow. Um, but I think the, the reasoning for it being slow will pay off eventually. I've, you know, like I said before, I've been told that the character development in this series is like really, really great. Um, so you need that kind of establishment to get to know the character in order for them to grow. Um, so I'm excited to see, I'm, I'll, I'll probably pick up book two fairly soon. Um, I'm not one to binge a series. Um, I like to kind of give myself to ruminate a little bit on the subject matter and then, when I'm ready, I'll dive into the next one. So we'll cover, I think, two more prompts for the reading rush. This will cover, actually, technically three, but I already crossed off the, the book that starts with the word the. Um, but this is white, which is the color I picked for my birthstone because I'm a diamond, so I could go with, like, silver or white. So I went with white. There's that one. And then also a book that takes place not uh, in your country of where you live because um, this takes place in a completely different world, and I'm going to... I'm gonna count it. And I also read through two more short stories in the uh, the language of thorns. The Two Clever Fox, The Witch of Duva. Um, and these stories are actually pretty kind of, they're kind of dark and spooky. They're very familiar, like obviously you know where Leigh Bardugo kind of pulled her inspiration from. So it's like that, but also her working in her Grishaverse vibe. And it's really good. Um, I'm gonna try and read maybe one or two more tonight. Um, and then I think I really want to read the, um, the House of the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune for the Three Blondes in a Book book club pick for July. And the live show is like in a week. So I need to like power through that book in order for me to participate in the live show, which I really want to do. Um, and I actually got the audiobook on Audible. I had a credit that I didn't even realize I had. I'm probably going to try and dive into that one soon, maybe. Because I want to do the book show or the, <laughs> I want to do the uh, live show for the book club. So yeah, I want to participate. But yeah, that's kind of where my reading is right now. Um, and I'm going to about to head to work shortly. So I think I'm going to try and plug in the audiobook today and see how far I can get. And maybe listen to a little bit of it on my run later. And yeah, hope everyone's doing good. So now while we're here, I think I'm going to do a little book unhaul for you. It's my first time doing this. I don't really know how these go. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to kind of wing it. And by the way, this doesn't necessarily mean that the books were bad. I probably read them, thought they were fine. I just don't really need to own them anymore. And my plan for all of these books in this pile is to donate them either to my library or to the little free libraries that are like all around our town. There's so many of them. I looked them up online and there's like 20 of them in my town. So I might take you guys with me this weekend as I drop books into the little free libraries so um, so that other people can enjoy them. So the first book I'm gonna um, unhaul is The Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan. I honestly don't even know where, where or when I got this book. <laughs> Does that happen with you guys? Do you ever like wonder like, who, where, how did this book end up on my shelves? Because there's some that I'm like, huh? Um, I might have picked this up at a used bookstore at some point. I don't even think I read this, um, but it's been sitting on my shelf for far too long. I just don't think I'm going to grab for it. So I hope I can donate this and maybe somebody else can uh, really read it and dive in. The next book I'm going to get rid of is, um, it might be a little controversial, but I, I really genuinely like this book. It's One Day in December by Josie Silver. Um, I thought it was really good, a, like an intense adult romance contemporary novel like, like a love at first sight where this girl Lori sees this guy on the bus in London and they like instantly have an attraction to each other and then she like never sees him again so she tries to find him and then one day she goes to her best friend's uh like a party and finds out that her new boyfriend is the guy from the bus and like how the two of them deal with their attraction and their relationship with their friend and like all of that and it was really intense and it was good I just don't think I really need to own it. Um, again, it's going in a little free library. Maybe someone will grab it and enjoy it even more than I did. 
And the next book, I think I already mentioned this, um, that, but I have two copies of this. This is the original cover of A Girl of Fire and Thorns, the paperback edition. Um, I don't need two copies. I like the newer covers better, so I am going to donate this one. I highly recommend this series. Definitely not a bad book, um, but don't need duplicates. So it's going to go into the donation pile and maybe a num some other uh you know, reader can pick this up and really enjoy it like I did. The next one is another a kind of a controversial one, and that is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I started this like three years ago. Um, I, didn't, I never really thought it was that great. Um, and from what I hear, the series doesn't really get any better. I feel like it kind of, I've heard, I heard it kind of drags on. I just don't think I'm even going to bother at this point. Also, this came out forever ago, and I feel like the dystopian YA uh, fantasy is kind of burned out that whole uh trope is a little burned out right now and I'm just not in the mood for it um so yeah this will probably go to my library or you know donation bin I want someone else to un enjoy all these books that I'm unhauling next book I'm gonna unhaul is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart this one also might be another controversial one I read this I think it was earlier this year um and my friend really 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 recommended it and I thought it was fine I I don't I don't really get the hype I don't know. I'm not going to go into it. It was, I think it was a little overhyped for me. I think that was the big problem. Um, but yeah, going in, going in the pile. The next one, The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. Um, I really enjoyed this, the writing in this book. I thought the writing was amazing. Um, I thought the idea was amazing. I thought it was executed really well. I just didn't really connect personally to the story enough to want to keep this. Um, I know this is a favorite of a lot of people on booktube. It just didn't work for me. Um, and I, like I said, maybe someone else can pick this up and it'll be life changing for them. Very good writing. And I definitely will read more of what Chloe Benjamin puts out. Um, but yeah, just going to unhaul and hope that someone else enjoys it. And the last book that I'm probably, uh, that I'm going to donate is The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. Um, I think this was my first Emily Henry book and I don't know if it was the right one to pick up for her first novel. Her books are really whimsical and like magical realism, which I have not really read a lot of. And this book was a little confusing and like hard for me to follow. And I read this at the beginning of quarantine. So maybe that was probably, maybe that was why um, I didn't love it. it. Maybe I just couldn't really understand it. My brain couldn't focus on it. Um, but it's like an insta love story and there's magical realism and like alternating universes and stuff. Um, and I thought it was really unique, um, but I just, it just wasn't for me. So, so there we have it. Just a small little stack of books that I'm planning on donating. And we, I'm going to, I just really want to go book shopping this weekend. So we will do that. Very excited. I'm about to go to work and I will check in with you guys later. Okay. So I have a few extra minutes before work. Should we go to Target and treat myself to a new book? Yes, yes, we should. And I'm gonna take you with me. Settling in, settling down. Falling in love, not falling out. I keep on falling in. Each of us both done in the crown. So <laughs> we all know that when one person goes into Target, you simply do not get one thing. So I know I said one book, but I got two and I got Beach Read by Emily Henry. And I think I literally just like unhauled an Emily Henry book, but booktube has been talking nonstop about this i love adult contemporary romance and i think this is going to be really fun to read and i've been trying to get the paperback um but it was like sold out on amazon or at least i couldn't get it for a while um and i also just hate how target puts these stupid stickers on here like come on please <laughs> um and then i also picked up alisa clapis romance um i have i think the only historical romance author i've read is tessa dare 
Um, I have Kerrigan Byrne on my list to read this week for the reading rush and I thought I would grab a Lisa Kleypas because it looked really fun and I love how cheap these books are. They're like six bucks. So we'll see. Um, yeah. And then I also maybe might have gotten the sundress and some other stuff, but we're not going to talk about it. And now I'm off to work because I have things to do today. <laughs> um, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> what else is new? Um, just saying hi from my lunch break. And I started The House in the Cerulean Sea really briefly, like maybe like 15 minutes in. And I think it's going to be a very cute, whimsical novel. And I'm pretty excited about it. And yeah, I am doing okay. I've got my caffeine, green tea. This is my afternoon caffeine choice. I try to stay away from coffee in the afternoons because um, I feel like it's a little bit too intense for me. Um, yeah, so that's it. I don't have much else to update you on. Um, I'll try and maybe do a little bit of filming when we go running later, if that ends up happening. The intention is always there. I just, sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I've all, that's all I got for you. And I will check in later.